Well, hello everyone. So, long time no see on this channel, I know, because I just kind of stopped doing gaming videos, as you can tell. But um, today I suddenly had a random urge to play this game, Spyro Year of the Dragon, and um, you know what I went ahead and did? I went ahead and got back to the exact place where I left off, because the last time I did a Spyro Year of the Dragon episode was March 2015, and I was just watching back and reminiscing, and I'm like, I really want to continue this, so I went through all the- <laughs> my cat's here- I went through all the painstaking trouble of getting back to where I was, and I'm telling you, it was extremely stressful and frustrating, but it's all worth it, because here I am now, doing this video. And where I left off in the last episode, we were going to do Mushroom Speedway. So that's exactly what we're going to do now. Um, so yeah, I know I'm extremely inconsistent on this channel and it's because only once in a blue moon do I actually feel like making a gaming video and I wanted to continue this let's play. So that's what I'm doing. <laughs> and that is Spark's voice if you couldn't realise. And now that I've actually started recording a video, it's like my key, my kitten, has decided to turn up and be annoying. It's like whenever cats can hear your voice, they can like hear that you're busy doing something. They're like, hmm, I'm gonna go fuck it up. Um, anyway, we're going to start off with time attack, which this can be an, an annoying level, but um, this one's not so hard. So starting off with time attack. And what we have to do is basically go through all these rings. We just have to hit everything basically. So next up we're gonna have to blow some um, dandelions. Here we are. Basically we just have to make sure that we hit every single thing and then we win. And it's as simple as that. So anyway, why was it so painstaking and annoying of me getting back to where I was? Let me tell you because <sighs> the game fucking crashed and I forgot to save it and then I had to do an entire level again and I was so mad, like I was so mad doing it. Like I was having to listen to ASMR at the same time just to like relax me and calm me down because I was just so stressed. Oh fuck. We missed a spider. You know what? I'm gonna try and go back for that guy um, in a sec. But right now, butterflies. Um, and as you work up, they give you more gems, basically, so these ones give you 25 gems. I think I'm gonna fail this. Oh, shit. Can I get to the spider in five seconds? Three, two, no, I can't. Uh, no! <laughs> Fuck. My. Life. I actually can't believe that just happened. I actually just can't fucking believe it. I actually just can't believe that. Like, what is- I missed one spider. It's like, you know, I said, oh, you know, this should be pretty easy. Nope. And Leo's just sitting on my desk now, watching me play. Oh, no, don't want that to happen. Yeah, that's right, Leo. You sit there, you be quiet, and you don't interrupt my video because that is what you have been trying to do. Just like Babby always tries to do, but um, she's miraculously not around. It's taken her place with the video interrupting. Right, hit the damn spider. Now I've got all the gems. Should be able to kill these butterflies. I say should, but... No! Oh my god, I am so bad at this. I almost just screwed that up. Right, it's okay, it's okay, we've got 10 seconds. It's all good, guys. We can do this. Yes! Yes! Fucking hell. Right. Glad that that shit's out of the way, but now we have to actually race the butterflies, which you're gonna find out what that is in a moment. <sighs> yeah, okay. So, not only did the game crash, but I had uh, doing the Shiva challenge on what's it called? Seashells Shore. I don't know if you guys remember, but um, obviously you can go back and watch the previous episodes if you haven't seen them. They're from like a year and a half ago, it's maybe slightly longer, but uh, if you want to keep up to date, then just go back and watch those. It's going to be a little bit of like blast from the past, but. Um, yeah, basically, I got stuck on the Sheila challenge, and it's really fucking annoying. Like, I don't know if you guys remember or what, but 
it's where you have to fucking smash up all the sand castles and stuff, and it's just so, so annoying. And I had to do it like six times before I did it, and I actually just wanted to punch a fucking wall while, it, while I did it, because it just took me so many tries. Um, anyway, so let's keep up to date with what's going on here. Basically, I have to win this race against these butterflies, and these little stars give me speed boosts so I can get past them. Um, so yeah, I just basically have to come first and then I win and I get an egg. And then we can all be happy and move on to fucking midday gardens and not be sad. So, um, yeah, actually we will have to do a boss battle before we get to midday gardens. So, uh, I will obviously do that and then we'll complete midday gardens as a whole and then that will be the end of this episode. So nothing too stressful for me because I have had enough goddamn stress. It took me literally two hours to get back to where I was. Like that is how dedicated I was to making, oh shit, I fucked up, to making this video. Um, because I really wanted to, like I really wanted to, and I feel guilty that I actually never finished this let's play, so hopefully I will be able to. How the fuck am I still in third, by the way? I don't even know if I'm gonna win this. Actually, no, there's another secret challenge we need to do in this level. There's actually three eggs up for grabs um, in this. Oh, fuck's sake! Oh. Okay, this is actually, I might even lose this. It's actually way more stressful than I anticipated. Um, but there's a secret hunter challenge in this level, which we will figure out after we have won this. And if I fail on this try, guys, oh, I have. It was lap three and I came second. Right, well, see you in a minute when I win, guys. Oh god, thank god for that. Okay, we won. It only took me like four tries. Uh, Leo made me go into the water on one of the tries and I'm just like so annoyed. <laughs> that shouldn't have taken that long. Oh my god. Okay, right. My blood pressure can now decrease. Thank you very much. But actually we're about to move on to the hunter challenge so I'm not so, so sure. So what we do is we go into time attack and we basically, um, we're not trying to do it properly. Um, we're gonna find Hunter, because he's hidden away. We'll just go through these rings, but he's over here. I'm gonna ignore the dandelions, because we don't need to hit those. Um, let's see over here. Leah's just kind of getting in the way. He's hidden in this mushroom, basically. And here we go. A bunch of sheep and flying saucers just came out of nowhere. Yeah. Blasting up the race course. That's weird. Yeah. So now what we gotta do is we are hunter and we have to kill the sheep. Oh god, I've forgotten how to do this. We gotta be careful to not get hit by those things, but I think Woohoo. It'd be nice if I'd actually paid attention. Oh god, I don't Okay, um, we basically have to follow these in quite close proximity, but can't really do that when they're going that far. How are we supposed to keep up with this? I'm just gonna shoot everywhere and hope for the fucking deaths. Yay, it worked! So all you gotta do, guys, is just shoot everywhere. And just hope that you hit something. I am so bad at controlling this. Way. Oh, it worked. Whoa, this is just fucking insane. Like, I don't even know what's going on. I am just, whoop. Die! Yay, it worked. Okay, I'm actually terrible at this. I don't even know what's going on. Um, just really hoping for the best. All right, I, I'm starting to get the hang of it now. But, you know, I, my blood pressure is like so damn high right now <laughs> from all that 
bullshit I have experienced. So um, yeah, that's a thing. It's like now I'm just constantly saving my game after like every level, so just in case it crashes again. Because I'm not having it crash on me again. Like I'm, I was so mad, so mad. Oh god. Come on, man. I mean, I thought the autosave would have my back, but it actually didn't. I'm like, yeah, thanks a fucking lot. Where's the last one? Okay. Come on, this should be easy. Ah, there we go. We fucking did it. We get a free egg. Thank you, Hunter. I will take that. And his name is Tater. Like, Tater Top which are American. We don't have those in the UK, but I've heard of them. I don't know why you'd name your kid after a potato. Um, actually, we're gonna get the fuck out of here. Thank you very much, Sparks. I am not doing that shit again. We've taken what we needed and we're getting out and we're moving on to Midday Garden. So now we actually have to fight a big, ugly boss monster. So that's gonna be very fun. Let's go and do that. You know, really, this game is supposed to be, like, fun, but I've been stressed. <laughs> but I, I really want to do the Let's Play, so, yeah. Just, you know, I... The reason why I got inspired is because I was watching some of Chugga Conroy's old Let's Plays, and, um, you know, seeing his Let's Plays just makes me want to do them again, so I am. Cutscene. Listen carefully, you stupid girl. I'm only going to ask you one more time. Why haven't you disposed of that infernal dragon? I... I've tried to scare him off, Your Highness. But he's just not afraid of anything. Not afraid? Not afraid? Isn't she just beautiful? Why have I been beautiful. training you all these years? Use some magic! Here's a spell book. Whip up a monster and eliminate him. <gasps> Him? I don't care what you do, you useless brat, as long as you get rid of him. Okay. You, come here. Oh, look, it's Sergeant Bird. We'll be seeing him in a minute. <laughs> oh, God, he's so ugly. Oh, so gross. So she turned a rabbit into that. Like that is some goddamn sorcery right there. Okay, <laughs> Leo's on my lap now. Um, Leo, could you just try to be less annoying? So now we got to fight this big ugly guy. When she I heard the sorceress was planning to ambush you, I got here as fast as I could. No worries. Thanks, Sheila. Sheila. This wussy green toad will be no match for the two of us. <laughs> so Sheila's gonna help us out here. What we gotta do is. Um, uh, I don't know. Actually, we have to knock him into the fire, and he keeps jumping around, but basically we just have to make sure he goes into the, uh, well, not fire, the lava, or magma, whichever it is. I don't know for sure. Oh, then we run. We run the hell away. And then you just rinse and repeat, basically. It's a, it's a pretty easy boss. It just takes like a minute or two. You just have to keep getting him in there, then Sheila will uh, smack him down. He'll come out, he'll be angry, he'll want to roll and crush you, but you just got to run away. And then, once again, hey hey. Oh yeah, and then he gets a little fire shield around him as it goes on. And you just have to wait for it to go away and then butt him again. Yeah, yeah, nice one, mate. Not doing any damage. Oh, he's so crap. But obviously these boss fights get harder as you get up to the next worlds. So there are, well, there are two more worlds after Midday Gardens. You have, um, what's that? E you have Evening Lake and then Midnight Mountain after Midday Gardens, so yeah. And my favorite is probably Midnight Mountain, because I really like that one. Because I, I actually just really like the, um, the music in Midnight Mountain, if any of you guys know what that is, but we will, <laughs> I don't know, it's going to take me a while before I get there. 
and a lot of painstaking levels before we get there. And there are quite some painstaking levels in there also. There's quite some painstaking levels in just the whole game in general, so yeah, but we will get through them. Um, ooh, 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 running away. See, this one just takes a while, like, it's just so easy, but I, I don't want to ji jinx it. How is it the exact moment I'm like, wow, it's easy, and then I just fucking get killed? I forgot that he starts fucking spitting fire at you at that point. Oh my Jesus God. Okay, this is so fucking stupid. Uh, Alright, I won't bore you with all this crap again, so see you in a moment. Okay, we are back to where we are. And he is spinning fire. Oh god. Okay, get in there. He's almost dead. I think one more after this and we will be golden. And I really hope so because I've spent way more on this than I would have liked to because I really want to get midday gardens done but my food's going to be ready in like 10 minutes so I hope I can, uh, oh, I hope I can get this done by then. Yeah, okay. Yeah, shut up, buddy. <sighs> Alright, get in there. Yeah, thank god, that's finally it. We can just move on. Yeah, that's right, drown in the lava, buddy. Get out of here. And then we get a another baby dragon called Grayson, and he has a rainbow in his hand, so that was really cute. And now we are going to fly off to the beautiful, the amazing, the wonderful Midday Gardens. It is quite pretty. It's um, one of my favourite worlds, I guess. I guess it goes in rank like Midnight Mountain, Midday Gardens, uh, Sunrise Spring, and then uh, Evening Night. Okay, so here comes Bianca. Okay, Dread. You've managed to survive longer than I expected. But you haven't the slightest idea what sort of dangers lie ahead of you. I suggest you grab your cat friend and whatever eggs you find. He's not a cat, he's a leopard. It back home while you still can. He's a big cat. I'm telling you this for your own good, you know. Okay, thanks, Bianca. Right, so let's make a star on my day gardens. And what was I talking about before? Because... I had something in my mind I was going to talk about, and now I've completely forgotten what it was. Oh yeah, the reason why I say Evening Lake is my least favourite is because it's mostly underwater, and I don't really like going underwater, to be honest, so... Um, yeah, that's the thing. That's just basically why it's ranked last on my uh, favourite world list. It's number four. And this is number two. So yeah, this is, uh, we have a level here called, what's it called again? Icy Peak, is that the, oh yes, I still remember, I still got it. Um, and we're basically just going to collect all of the gems and the eggs, and then I will be heading off. So, oh yeah, we've got a little egg in here. <laughs> Mingus, well, I mean, what kind of name is that? What? <laughs> and he is kind of goofy looking. <laughs> Alright, so. Yeah, after this, I will go ahead and end the episode, and oh, there's another egg under here. And then, it will all be dandy. And then I have things to do, like, I've got to go play poker in, like, an hour and a half. So, yeah, I'm basically going to eat my dinner, get ready, and then go. So I won't have time to record any more Spyro, and I probably doubt I will later, but I may well record another episode tomorrow. Um, but when you're seeing this, it may be like the day up. Well, yeah, it will be, because I'll, I'll only have time to edit this video um, tomorrow from when I'm recording this. I'm recording this on Monday. Monday the 14th of November, just in case you were wondering. Um, I don't know if anybody really cares, but yeah. And I'm not doing a face cam because I always feel like these kinds of games are better without a face cam because it's sort of, I don't want to take away from the game or anything, I don't want you to just be like staring at my face. Um, it's more just about the gameplay. Hey, Spyro. Yeah, yeah. And he's telling me we've got to shoot a melon at the target and that unlocks the portal basically. So you do that, press uh, O, and there it is. One of my favourite levels in the game 
Enchanted Towers. There you go. Um, and I might do that in the next episode because I really like that. <laughs> and what you just heard was an egg thief, by the way. So we're going to go uh, catch the egg thief. Just get this sort of out of the way. Oh, fuck. See, sometimes they just change direction like that. It's really annoying. <sighs> but yeah, you're probably seeing this one on Tuesday. Because, oh, fuck. I won't upload it as soon as possible, but I won't have time to edit it and render it until Tuesday itself. So, should be able to get it up. Oh, fuck! Okay, I'm really screwing this up, guys. And starting to get a little bit annoyed. And I've got to take... I put a pie in the oven, that, that's what I need to just take out of the oven in a moment. Um, no! Come on! And it's a, uh, it's a steak pie. Don't know why I'm telling you about my dinner, but yeah, I thought I just would. Fuck, why is it I can never do that shit in time? Like, I'm really just gonna waste like 10 minutes chasing this fucking egg thief. Why? Yeah, I don't understand why every time I blow the fire, it's always wrong. <sighs> Thank God. And this one's called Trixie. Oh my lord. All right, let's just get these goddamn gems collected for the love. Oh Christ. Right. Goodness me. Okay. I'm just kind of stressed, which is not good. No, I've been really stressed lately. Don't know why. Like, it's just what happens. I think it's because of, uh... Like, I just get really... Bleh in the... When it's, like... When it's, like, winter months. I, I mentioned this in, like, some of my videos on, like, my main channel. Um, is that I have, you know, I fucking hate the seasons, autumn and winter. They are so dull and depressing and dark and it just makes me feel like shit. Um, makes me more irritable as a person, really. And I'm already a pretty irritable person, but sometimes I just, you know, blow my fuse and it's not good. It's not something you want to do, so yeah. But, um, when you're seeing this, I actually know I have a doc- yeah, I have a doctor's appointment on Tuesday, so, um, hopefully I can fit in editing and rendering this and stuff, but, um, yeah, my, well, my doctor's appointment isn't going to last long anyway, so yeah, I should definitely, should definitely be up. But yeah, when you're seeing this, you'll know anyway. It's just at the time when I'm recording it, it's different. And I never know when it's going to be up. <sighs> so yeah, I'll be seeing the doctor, hopefully going to get some medication that's going to help me out, but I don't know. We'll have to see. And I, I kind of hate this level here, Bamboo Terrace, because it's just like really annoying. Like, the missions in it are annoying. Because I'm telling you, my least favourite level uh, in Sunrise Spring was Seashell Shore because it has the absolute most aggravating challenges in it. It has three aggravating challenges. Actually, one of them isn't that aggravating, but the, like seriously, the Sheila challenge and the challenge where you go through the tunnel and you have to like smack the Rhinox out the way and you have to make sure you hit them like, I just hate it when you're repeating the same thing over and over and you just keep losing and you, you just can't win. Like, it's so goddamn irritating. Um, but yeah, what, what, what are we missing here? Just a few gems. Oh yeah, and we have a little challenge to do to get an egg. And then we will be good. And then I will be able to go and eat my dinner. Okay, so, where are the gems that we're missing though? That's what I'm wondering. So, we're going to be able to breathe big fireballs, we're going to break these boys, and there will be an egg in the fourth one, which is like over here. There we go, that was easy enough, and we get a free egg, woohoo! I don't know where we've missed gems though, we really don't. Where did we miss the gems? Because I need to go now. But yeah, I really hope that you guys did enjoy this. Um, and that you still sort of care about me. Because, I don't know, like, I guess most people would have, like, forgotten about my gaming channel and stuff. Oh, we're missing... Yeah, we need to go get the fireball thing. And, uh, blow up that chest. 
But yeah, I mean, I don't really care if people stop watching me and not care about me anymore because there'll be the dedicated few people that um, will still watch me and still enjoy this. So I'm doing it for those people and because I just want to do it for myself, really. I just want to create the content and be able to look back on it and um, yeah, just feel good about it. So that's mostly why I'm doing it, just because I felt like it. Um, but yeah, I do appreciate anyone that uh, enjoys this. Oh, we missed a 10 gem over here and that should be it. Oh, no, there's still some gems. Come on, I ain't got time for this. I hate it, like, I swear, I ne I could never clear a level, right? Okay, here we are. I could never clear a level, though, without having missed, like, two gems. I kept doing levels, okay, we're done. But I kept doing levels, and there kept being, like, one or two gems that I missed. And then I would go around for, like, ten minutes trying to find those fucking gems. Like, it was so annoying. Like, that's what just does my head in so much. But, thankfully, we have now completed Midday Gardens. When we come back in the next episode, I am going to be probably doing Enchanted Towers. So, I will see you guys then. Thanks for watching. And, yeah, see ya.